Hi everyone, in this demo we are going to show how to download uh, a model from UBI. So UBI supports different types of models. So we have uh, deep learning models such as BERT transformers. Uh, we have also SPACI models uh, another type of uh, state-of-the-art models that you can fine-tune on your own data set. So in this uh, demo we're going to show how to download uh, the model and then uh, load it into a Google Core Lab to run it for, to run it for inference. So um, let's get started. So after fine-tuning the model, you can download it directly from UBI uh, by clicking on this uh, download model button. So once you click on, click on it, you'll see a pop-up that gives you two options. You can download the model directly using the button uh, download here to your computer, or you can use an API to download the model uh, with an API call. So for this demo, we're going to go ahead and download the model using the uh, console. So press download. So once you press download, it's going to start downloading. Uh, it might take a while. Um, once the download is done, uh, you have two options. You can di directly um, import it to Google Colab uh, from this uh, import file, upload uh, files, or you can uh, host it in Google Drive, for example, or some, or some other storage place where you can uh, download it uh, or import it right there and get it ready for uh, the inference. So in this uh, demo, we're gonna, um, we already imported the model in uh, Google Drive, so we're going to go ahead and um, fetch it uh, from Google Drive. So first, we have uh, the first step is to uh, connect to our Google Drive uh, in this uh, cell. Once that's done, um, we need to um, install some libraries. Um, the main ones are transformer libraries from Hugging Face that we need to uh, basically um, use for our inference. And the second one is Tesseract, uh, because in this uh, specific model, we have um, trained uh, a model for uh, invoice extraction. Uh, that means it takes uh, a PDF or an image as an input, and it will uh, OCR it and then it will run the model um, to get prediction from this uh, OCR invoice and uh, gives you back the data, the extracted entities in this case for name data recognition. So we have um, here, uh, we install the transformer library as I said, we also installed Tesseract OCR uh, and this will allow you to OCR that PDF. Uh, so make sure to run the cells. I already run this um, in my previous um, attempt. Um, after that, there's a third cell here, uh, which is basically a pre-processing of the data. Uh, for these type of models, you need to do some pre-processing of the of the uh, of the of the basically the data set. Uh, so we already packaged all of that in this uh, GitHub repo. So um, all you have to do is kind of clone that GitHub repo that has all the pre-processing for the inference steps. So make sure to run this. Uh, once that's done, um, we import certain other libraries related to uh, image processing. Um, so we run the cell, the next one as well. Um, here in this cell, basically, we are um, unzipping the file. So the file that you get from UBI is uh, a, a zip file or a .tar file. So here what we're doing is we are unzipping that file to look at, uh, to get the, the model from. So we uh, run the cell to unzip the file. The file will be unzipped in this uh, folder here. I called it model, uh, which has basically all the information uh, re regarding the model. Once you unzip the file, um, you can specify the path of the model, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so make sure to run the cell as well. Um, the model is in a, bin it's a binary file, uh, so we need to load it with uh, torch.load. So we also run torch.load here. Uh, here we want to make sure to use um, uh, CUDA for uh, uh, the inference side of things. If CUDA is not available, it's going to uh, revert to CPU. So make sure to run this. Um, and finally, we're done. So here, basically, this is the final command to run the inference. Um, it's pretty simple. So here, all you have to do is um, basically run this file, uh, run inference.py. This file, we uh, cloned it from uh, the GitHub repo that I showed earlier. And then you specify the path of your model. So this is the path, uh, pytorchmodel.bin. Uh, and then you specify the images that you would like to uh, run inference on. Uh, so you specifically specify the directory. Uh, and this is the image path here. So the directory here I have uh, ready. I uploaded a few files, four files of invoices. And um, that's it. So we're pretty much done here. Uh, after that, you just press run. And then once you press run, it's going to OCR the, all those images, uh, run the model on them, and then gives you the prediction. So um, this will take a little bit of time to run, but uh, the result is like this. So once the inference is done, it will output the file, the original file that you have submitted, uh, plus the uh, prediction that were done uh, on top of it. So as you can see, the model was able to detect uh, accurately uh, the seller name, uh, the invoice, um, uh, looks like the date ID here. We have the invoice ID, we have the invoice number, uh, we have also the, the total price, uh, the tax. So it was able uh, overall to do a good job in um, uh, predicting the uh, relevant entities. 
So that's pretty much it for this uh, demo. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, you can label your data set, uh, fine tune it on UBI, download the model, um, and then you can use that model in production right away. You don't have to do any uh, extra coding or any extra scripting um, for this step. I hope this demo was uh, useful, and um, if you have any questions, please uh, email us, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible.